Hi everybody, it's Mr. Steve. I'm so happy to see you today. Today is one of my favorite days of the whole week. And do you know why? Because it's a zoo and you story time day. I'm going to put on my zookeeper hat and you can put your zookeeper hat on too. If you don't really have one, you can just pretend to put one on. And today, I am excited to tell you about the animal of the day. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. It is a kangaroo. So remember the first week that we did the Zoo and You story time, we talked about camels. Last week was about tortoises, and this week is all about kangaroos. Here's what's going to happen. We're going to start off by reading a kangaroo book. And then after the story is over with, we're going to watch a video that was put together for us by Lee from Records and Burpees Children's Zoo. And she has two, or no, three kangaroos with her during the video. And we get to learn about the red kangaroo. And then we're going to come back and we're going to do a craft that has to do with kangaroos. I hope you're ready for fun because I'm ready for fun. Since we work at a library, we are going to read a story about kangaroos. And I'm going to put you right here, kangaroo. Hey, you and kangaroo rhyme. Our story that we're going to read is called da -da -da -da, Boing by Nick Bruel. Nick Bruel is the person who wrote the words and drew the pictures. And you probably have heard of some other Nick Bruel books. He wrote the Bad Kitty books. And we are so happy that Macmillan, the publishing company, is allowing us to read this story to you on video. And I hope you like it. Boing. The koala bear's eating. And the mama kangaroo's saying, watch me. And there she goes. Boing 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 boing. And there's the baby clapping. Baby kangaroos are called joeys. Your turn. You can do it. It's fun. Come to mama. Now you know how we learn how to walk when we're babies. Well, baby kangaroos, they learn how to jump. And that's what mama's saying. Come to mama, Joey. Blomp. Oh dear. So if this is the baby kangaroo and this is the mommy kangaroo who pretend is over here and they want the baby to jump to the mommy, the baby tries to jump and then blomp falls right down. Like this, said the grasshopper. And the grasshopper goes boing 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 boing. And the frog says, it's easy. And the frog goes, boing, 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 boing. And then the joey tries it. Come on, joey, jump. And then, blomp. This time the joey fell backwards. Oh, no. Don't worry. Joey's OK, just a little embarrassed. Don't give up, said the bunny. And the bunny went, boing, 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 boing. And then Joey tries again and blop, falls down again. Oh, golly. And the koala is very smart. The koala goes over to Joey and says, what do you have in your pocket? And Joey pulls out what's in his pocket. I have one sock, a candy bar, two jacks, a toy dinosaur, three marbles, a cool rock I found, four buttons, another toy dinosaur, five crayons, a book about robots, six acorns, a drawing of a flower, my piggy bank, a red ribbon, a yo-yo, a yellow ribbon, my dolly, a blue ribbon, a spoon, a feather, a purple ribbon, a paper clip, an orange ribbon, a green ribbon, a hairbrush, and a banana. And you can see the mama kangaroo is like, oh, can you believe this kid? Try again, Joey, says the koala. And now all these things are not in Joey's pouch. So Joey's a lot lighter. Let's see if Joey can jump now. Ready? I love this page. Boing! Wow! 
Joey jumps so high. And at the end, Joey is in mommy's arms and the bunny and the frog and the grasshopper are saying, your turn, you can do it, it's easy. <laughs> and we might try jumping later, but that's the end of the story for now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna send it over to Lee so she can tell us all about kangaroos. And listen carefully because we're going to learn how fast and how far kangaroos can jump along with lots of other fun stuff. Watch this. Hi, this is Lee. I'm back again with one of our amazing creatures. This is probably the most recognizable animal. This is the amazing red kangaroo. Red kangaroo comes from Australia. They would live in the outback there and they are incredible because of their ability to move around. You know, it's very hot and dry where they live. There's not a lot of vegetation. So they've got to be able to travel great distances to get the food that they need to eat. They're herbivores, they eat plants. So they've got to be able to travel to get enough food to survive. So, of course, everyone knows what a kangaroo does when it moves around. It doesn't walk or run from place to place. They hop. They use these powerful back legs to hop away from me. <laughs> Kangaroos can travel great distances and at great speeds. They can travel almost 40 miles an hour. A male could jump up to nine feet in height and they can hop with one jump about 30 feet. That's amazing. Now the females are quite a bit smaller than the males. The females generally are between 40 and 80 pounds, whereas a male can be 130 to almost 200 pounds. They are quite a bit larger than the females. You see this is Alice at full, she's full grown. This is her full height. A uh, full grown male is quite a bit larger. I'll show you Gideon later. Um, and at full height, a male could be between five and a half and almost six feet tall when they stand up at full height. The red kangaroo is the world's largest marsupial. A marsupial is a grouping of mammals, which in most species has a pouch in which the young develop. Other marsupials are the wallaby, wombat, koala, Tasmanian devil, and around here in the U.S., the possum. Now, a kangaroo is pregnant for just 33 days. Wow, that's about as long as it takes a chicken's egg to hatch. About one month, that's it. Now, when the baby's born, they're tiny. They're about the size of a big grape. Now, these babies at this size, they have no back legs. They have no hair. Their eyes aren't formed. They just have these front legs that are quite strong for their size. And they will take these legs and use it to crawl up the outside of the mother into the pouch. Once in the pouch, they attach to a nipple there and they continue to grow. Now, once this uh, kangaroo is attached to the nipple, it swells up in the kangaroo's mouth and uh, they're not really able to let go. This works well because as the mother is hopping very quickly, they don't want the baby to fall out. So uh, they'll attach to this nipple, they continue to grow uh, for uh, many months inside the pouch. Do you want something? Do you want something, Jesse? Here. Here. Do you want a treat? Here you go. These joeys, as a young kangaroo was called, continue to develop within the pouch. Eventually, they stick their head out to look around. At about six months old, they first explore outside, and at eight months, they can hardly fit back in and leave the pouch for good. This is Gideon, our male kangaroo, and at this point, he is over 125 pounds. Whoa, it's hard to pick him up now. Hi. Well, until next time, this is Lee and Atlas, the red kangaroo. We hope you enjoyed learning about these, the world's largest marsupial.
Did you know that red kangaroos have huge, strong back legs and tails? These long tails help them balance as they lean forward to hop. They also use them to sit back on like a stool when they rest. Males even lean back on their tails to fight by kicking. That was lots of fun, wasn't it? Look, Joey's so excited to see other kangaroos on video. Can you believe how fast and how far kangaroos can jump? Do you think we can jump that far and that fast? Let's try it. I'm gonna go to a bigger area though. Kangaroos can jump so high and so fast and so far. Remember they use their two strong back legs and they get down low and they spring themselves up. Do you think I can go really fast like a kangaroo? I'm gonna try it. You can try it too if you want to. Ready? So make sure you get your legs down low and your arms out a little bit like that. Not like a T-Rex, but a little bit longer. Ready? And let's hop as fast as we can. Ready? That's fun. How about we'll try to jump as far as we can at one time? Okay, ready? One, two, three, jump. I'm gonna do it one more time. One, two, three, jump. Well, after exercising like that, it's always good to have a break. And we're going to make a craft right now of a kangaroo. Here's what you need to make this craft. First of all, you need a coloring page. Now, when you pick out a kangaroo coloring page for this craft, you wanna make sure that the kangaroo's pouch is facing the front, okay? That's very important. We also need glue, scissors, crayons, and a little clay flower pot. First thing we're going to do is we're going to color in our kangaroo. Now we just saw some kangaroos in the video that were red kangaroos. So I think I'm gonna color this one red. I'm only gonna color the big kangaroo though because I don't need to color the other one. Do you know what letter kangaroo starts with? Yes, it starts with the letter K, K. And other animals start with K too. One that we saw, for example, in the book that we read, koala starts with K. And there are things that start with K that we can play with, like kites. You ever fly a kite before? Kites are fun. Babies love to play with keys. And actually, I kind of like playing with keys too. All right, and I'm just gonna color. I don't need to color in the pouch, and I'm gonna tell you why in a second. Okay, there we go. Now, even though they were red kangaroos that we saw, the kangaroos didn't look red like this, did they? No. You can color your kangaroo in any color you want to. I just chose red because it's a nice color, and I was thinking about red kangaroos. I'm going to color a little orange over it though because it's going to make it a little more like the color of our pot. Do you like to color? I hope so because that makes this a lot better if you like to color. And since we're going to be cutting it out, it's okay if I color out of the lines like, whoops, uh-oh, I'm out of the lines, but that's okay. Oops, uh-oh, but don't worry. We're going to be cutting them all out anyway. And I am so excited. Have you ever seen a kangaroo in person before? We had kangaroos visit the library, um, I think a couple years ago. Maybe you were here and saw that. Anyway, they were really neat and they're so fast. So fast. All right. 
and I'm going to cut this up really fast. Ah, uh, it's boring watching me cut. All right, ready? Here is the kangaroo. And you see there's the pouch. Do you remember what animals with pouches are called? It starts with an M, it's a long word. Marsupial, marsupial, right. So we thought it'd be fun today if we had our kangaroo have a pouch that was useful. You remember in the story that Joey put all those things inside his pouch. Well, we're gonna use this pot as the Joey's pouch. So we're going to glue the paper right onto the pot. Now if you had hard cardstock paper, that makes it a little better for this. This is just regular paper and it works okay. Um, I know some people like to use foam, so you could cut out a design of a kangaroo on foam if you want to. It's totally up to you. So we'll just glue it on like this. Okay, and it's supposed to sit there for a little while. Okay, so now doesn't it look like that's Joey's um, pouch? I thought it'd be fun if we decided to put some soil inside here. So I'm going to let this dry for a little bit, and then I'm going to come back with the soil. Okay, now it's dry, so it's ready to put in some soil. Let's put a few little scoops in. I thought it'd be really nice if Joey plants out a flower. So there we go. And since this is a really special kind of flower pot, I'm going to show you a trick. Okay, you ready? If we say the word boing really loudly, I bet that we can grow a flower really fast. Like that. Do you want to try it? Okay, ready? Boing! Whoa! That worked! That is so awesome. Okay, my friends, that is the end of today's The Zoo and You Story Time. We will see you next week for The Squirrel Monkey. Bye.